What's up, guys? I'm Jake, the Funko Fanatic. And I'm Lisa, Mama Fanatic. And welcome to our new show, The Fanatics. Let's go. As you can see, we are wearing our Haunted Mansion gear. This is one of Jake and mine very favorite rides at Walt Disney World Florida. Full oh, yeah. of fun and lots of ghouls and lots of interesting characters. So Jake, why don't you show us some of uh, the paraphernalia you have from Haunted Mansion. Alrighty, so a couple things. We're going to start off with this little diorama that you have Diarrhea? to- Diarrhea? What? No. <laughs> this is the diorama of the Haunted Mansion. Look, you... it's even brown. <laughs> it is made out of cardboard, and you actually stick it together as you can see all the different layers. You stick it together, it's even getting worse. <laughs> Alrighty, next thing we have are some of the pop figurines. Um, this is the Victor Geist. And he's playing the organ. Oh yeah, he's However, the... not his own. Yes, he plays the organ in the Haunted Mansion. If you've ever been on the Haunted Mansion, actually all the... The pipes actually, like, move uh, with the Pepper's Ghost effect. It's one of, like, the coolest things ever. It is very cool. I happen to love it, too. Um, the next thing we have are the metallic hitchhiking... Hitchhiking ghosts. Cut that out. We have... The next thing we have are the... Fuck! Three, the three <laughs> metallic hitchhiking ghosts. I'll say it. The next thing we have are the... Three metallic hitchhiking ghosts. Which are some of the most, most fun. <laughs> Try that again. The next thing we have are the three metallic hitchhiking ghost Funko Pops. Now, if you know anything about the Haunted Mansion, you know that these are some of the most visible and memorable ghosts in the ride. And during the ride, they have the ghosts do gimmicks as like they can swap our heads it's on so part of the ride fun. it's so funny and those are the haunted the hitchhiking ghosts so here we have this is gus we have phineas right here fabulous name with a ph fabulous and ezra we love ezra and this three pack was exclusive to target we got this in 2019 it was we were there we were there First thing in the morning, and I outran a dude to make sure Jake got the best spot. It was spot. so funny. We kicked ass. No one outruns a 50-year-old mother trying to get something for her kid. So wait, you show that one, and I'll show this one, because I'll show you what we ran for. All right. So next, we have the Ezra and Buggy Disney Park exclusive pop. This, now, I got... Now, that is actually what you ride in when you are on the ride. That type of buggy. It's a doom buggy. It's a doom, like D-O-O-M buggy, and that's what you ride in. Now, what I fought that dude for was this. They only had two per store, and I know how much Jake wanted it. This is the gigantic Ezra Pop. That guy was so pissed at her. It was so funny. I didn't care. He could kiss my ass. But we got the thing for Jake. No one is more aggressive than a mom trying to get something for her kid. Don't forget that. Family. And now, I am proud to introduce you to my favorite Haunted Mansion character, Madame Leota. Madame Leota is nothing more than a actually floating head inside of this glass, like, kind of crystal ball thing. She is a fortune teller. No. And it's most interesting. No. Yes. She performs a seance but she's in the a, ride. She does, but she's actually a fortune teller. That's what she is. And here is the actual Madame Leota Fun Funko Pop. Which I was on vacation when the meaning, um, I was at my dad's house on vacation. And this happened to drop in the park, so he I was there. He happened to drop and get it. Drop it and get it. Since I'm an annual pass holder, I can go any day. So I was able to pick this guy. This one up. I waited like two and a half hours. It's not a guy. It's a woman. <laughs> Just saying. That is true. Here you go. Zippity doo da, zippity a. I can't sing anymore because of copyright infringement. So, next thing we got Splash Mountain, classic Disney ride. We got Brer Rare. Rabbit. And Brer. And Brer Bear. Brer Bear 
and Brer Rabbit. We got the Splash Mountain Pop Ride. It's my most expensive pop in my collection and probably one of my favorites. Just look at the detail of the water in so the beautiful. log. I think this is just one of the coolest pops that Funko has ever come out with. It is, and a note about the ride, it will no longer be themed after Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear. It will in the future be themed Princess and the Frog. Yes, and the other pops we have, we also have the three-pack, Funko Pop three-pack from the Disney parks. We have, here's Br'er Fox. What a handsome devil, just like Jane. We got... Br'er Rabbit. What a little scallywag he is. Br'er Bear. He's definitely got an IQ in the double digits, you can tell. <laughs> but he's a lovable bear. Oh yeah, he's great. <laughs> Look what I've got! Everybody's favorite ride! It's a small world! Do do ah! do 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 the fucking sombrero guy just fell on the floor, but the lady's still there, and if you really care, it's a small world after all. Oh my god! Anyway, this is the Dorbs, the Funko Dorbs ride. I really think you should call it the Dweebs ride, because it actually doesn't look that great. But hey, it's what we got. But if you've ever been to Disney World and you've been on this ride, you will have an earworm for the rest of your life. From it's the, song. the worst song it, in the world. It's actually not bad, but you'll never stop it's hearing it. It's ten minutes of torture. It's longer than ten minutes. It feels like it's three hours, but that's all right. Anyway, this is the small world. Oh, shit! All right, anyway. So even in these COVID times... A bunch of us managed to go to Walt Disney World in August. And let me tell you that 90 degree weather, 110% humidity and masks are pure unadulterated hell. <laughs> Everybody was sick to their stomach the whole time, but we had fun anyway. Is but I had a particularly bad moment. So this, as you see, is the Walt Disney World Skyliner. It's that thingy that goes up in the air and these things are attached to it and they go from park They're to the, park. It's the new gondola transportation system. Yeah, that one. Anyway, <laughs> there's Mickey saying hello to you. But about 10 seconds into the ride, I realized that I was having a panic attack and there was no way in friggin' hell I was gonna go off the whole way on it. So we actually had to disembark and I ended up walking like five miles back to Disney World itself. That was a lot of fun in the 100 degree heat. The Disney Skyliner. So, these pops are actually from a park that I've never been to. I was able to pick them up at Walt Disney World, though. This is These are pops from Disneyland. The first one we have here is the abominable snowman on the Matterhorn. And he is abominable. Just look at his face. Look at this. This pop is actually really, really cool. It is. You see the Disneyland like insignia for the Matterhorn bobsleds. Nice. Definitely a cool ride. Next is Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, which, believe it or not, if you don't know what that ride is, it is, they rethemed the Tower of Terror. Really? At, at Disney's California Adventure, because it sucked. Orlando's is way better. And they made it this amazing Guardians of the Galaxy ride. You gotta check it out. Does it go up and down like the Tower of Terror? Oh, yeah. But is, does it do anything else? It has screens. Well, okay, but so does your phone. What makes it special? <laughs> it's a lot cooler. Okay, I'll take his word for it. The next segment we're going to talk about is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I'm just going to show a couple items I have from the land. This came out opening day. This is a land map and guide. And it is on this like insane like cardboard paper. And it is the coolest thing. Honestly, it's a pamphlet. Just saying. It's cool though. And look at this. All right. This is a, not, this is a can, a bottle of Coke. How many ounces of Coke? Maybe four? Who knows? No, 13.5 ounces. How much do you think this cost in this rapacious land of Star Wars? Six dollars. I couldn't believe it. It's regular old Coke. I mean, gosh darn. It's a grenade, though. It looks cool. It's a droid. This is a droid. What? 
This is made to look like a droid. Are you actually no. dumb? It's a grenade. No, it's not. It's a droid. This is how all the little stupid Star Wars droids look from the latest movies. Okay, put in the comments. <laughs> is it a droid? <laughs> Droid! Droid! Next thing we got is the Hondo Onaka. This was the gap. This was the Walt Disney World exclusive. Disneyland had a droid DJ Rex, which is the droid in the Cantina Who the exclusive. Hell is he? And this is the guy on the Millennium Falcon attraction, which she didn't go on, so she hell doesn't no. know. He's the animatronic, and he's the guy that leads you on the mission. Cool. I love Disney World, but I don't do rides. She's so not, go figure not that. a big fan. Not a big fan at all. In the ticky 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 room, the ticky 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 room, all the birds sing words in the forest groan in the ticky 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 room. All right, obviously, next we have one of our favorite, definitely my favorite shows in all of Walt Disney World. Me too. Is Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. This pop two pack. Came out a couple years ago. It has Pele and Barker Parrot, which actually are in the Disneyland version of the ride, but it's the Tiki Room. We had to get it. So what's the what's Pele? He is actually a Tiki. A magical... Tiki God. He's a Tiki God. A magical, mystical Tiki God. And the Barker Parrot sings the, the song and introduces you to all the different types of birds in the Tiki Room. And believe me, there are plenty. And who is this big guy? So this is Mickey Mouse, obviously. This is the Tiki Mickey from last year. It was the year of the mouse of the Chinese New Year. Look at all the wonderful Tiki Room symbols on here. They're actually tikis and parrots and pineapples and all kinds of things that you would enjoy at near the end at the Tiki Room. This was the July version. And here's the cert and it actually comes with a certificate of authenticity. Which is pretty you mean cool. <laughs> authenticity? We're working on his work. We're working on that. Send me back to kindergarten. Nah, he's pretty good. And this is <laughs> this is one of my favorite characters of all Disney time. This is Figment. And Figment represents your imagination. He's a figment of your imagination, but he's also full of mischief. And in the Figment ride in Epcot Center, he leads you through all kind of uh, labs and psychological and scientific things, and you just are amazed at all the things that imagination is. Now, what makes this special is we picked this up at a local junk shop for a dollar. It's worth quite a bit, and it is from the opening year of Epcot Center. Isn't that cool? Super cool. That's when the ride was actually good with Dreamfinder. Um, next, we have the Epcot 30, 35th anniversary. They had a figment pop. This is one of my first pops, actually. And it is... How cute is that? Such an awesome pop. Who doesn't love figment? Everybody loves is. figment. He's awesome. And next was from the 2019 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. They had a chef figment pop. Look how sick he is. He's so cute in that chef outfit. And I actually have one unboxed on top of my stove vent upstairs so I can see him every day when I cook. He brings me good luck. Yeah. Now that we're on the food subject, we're gonna talk about some of our food storage things. We got some awesome, awesome popcorn buckets. This one is the alien, as you can see. Eat me. His mouth opens up and popcorn goes inside. But look at the, the minimal amount of popcorn you can actually put into this thing. Definitely not a big popcorn bucket. Probably the smallest size in any movie theater imaginable. But it is cute. This is actually smaller, believe it or not. This oh, is, I believe it. This is actually my favorite popcorn bucket. It took me a while to find this one. This is the Steamboat Willie popcorn bucket. Look how cool this thing is. It only is that little much of popcorn. What the hell, Disney? Uh, yeah, you're paying for the popcorn holder, totally. Yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you guys just ever wanted to suck on something in Disney World? Well, I have, and this was what I got. This is the Florida Orange Bird. And inside this Orange Bird is the most succulent, juicy, flavorful orange drink I've ever had. Very, very good. Again, just a little bit inside, but that little bit really satisfies. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, that's going to do it. That's not everything. We'll show the rest later. We're going to upload 
one episode a week, so stay tuned for next Friday. I bet you can't wait. Next Friday at 5 p.m., come check it out. We are ready to roll. <laughs> Blue burial. <laughs> Welcome to the Blue burial. All right. What the fuck was that? <laughs> All right, I'm going to be like, hi, my name's Jake. No, sh- <laughs> you don't even... Really, I fucking burst you. I know. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Is what are you to them? Are you the Funko fanatic? Yeah, just listen. <laughs> or are you a hamburger? Listen. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name's Jake. And I'm Lisa. And welcome to our new show, The Fanatics. And he, otherwise known as. He is the Funko fanatic, and I am Mama fanatic. All right, well, how would I do? And I told you that five minutes. Ago. <laughs> Shut up! Just listen. <laughs>